Hey, hey, it's TDA and welcome back to Distant Worlds 2. And last time we upgraded all our ship designs. And as you can see, we have now sent them all back to base in order to get upgraded or retrofitted, I should say. And that is exactly what we're doing. So we'll have to wait around a little bit for that to actually finish. But um, yeah, we have plenty of other things to do. Um, we are actually still trying to colonize one of our colonies over here so let's see where's our colony ship it's over here still moving at a snail's pace uh, apparently it's, it's getting there it'll just take forever uh you might actually want to go here and refuel first maybe maybe um let's see if i do this right click it is now going to refuel over there and that will hopefully be a lot faster than actually trying to edge his way to our colony target system over here and actually when it gets there it might actually have a problem with pirates considering there are pirates in that system as far as i know we are once again under attack um to be honest this this planet is under contract con uh, contract no attack almost non-stop we have quite a few forces here let's see this has a defense of six about 60. So our defenses are way stronger than this one, but they just keep attacking, they keep kind of uh, suiciding into there. I'm not entirely sure why, but um, I don't think we'll have too much trouble holding them off. Um, so yeah, what is next? Let's see, we actually have a fairly stable economy now. We are currently developing quite a few colonies. Let's check out our colonies for a moment. Um, as you can see, we have our main colony which is pretty large and then we have two medium sized colonies They're not quite big so far uh, this one is actually does have a decent size uh, but all in all these colonies are fairly small as it stands right now um, you can actually see the money we're getting from these colonies this one is actually almost neutral let's see what is the tax rate at uh, is there an easy way yeah 15% so that's okay this one is actually at 30 oh right and we were about to discover an ancient xenox outpost so let's investigate that one and we have found to be ruins um their surface destruction is almost total but preliminary investigations suggest that there may be intact chambers beneath the surface perhaps we can learn the outpost's purpose and how it was destroyed uh yeah let's just throw money at it an ancient terraforming device um it is going to make in time smurmurmur habitable didn't we already get this one i am slightly confused now um but apparently they were i'm pretty sure we already got this one are we just getting this one over and over again because this is again the ancient poem called the epic of the betrayal seems very familiar either that or i am completely confused and i've already seen this particular event in a previous playthrough in one of my earlier test playthroughs but either way apparently they destroyed themselves um, and the logs were hidden beneath the rubble and then we found a poem which is actually interesting because i think that is one of the yeah there we go the artifacts that we this one is one that we got from our little colony of furry friends this one is the one we got from i think the ghost pirates that joined our system then i'm not actually entirely sure how we got this one the frontier an ancient headset which includes a recording of a virtual reality masterpiece hmm interesting this actually gives us colony uh, corruption reduction so it's quite useful to ac actually have this on your main planet uh let's speed down the things a little bit uh, we are now learning to talk to the Mortana. I'm not entirely sure if we want to talk to them, but... Hey, a new spy! Yes, I like spies. Um, one of our spies actually got caught, I think. So now we have three again. Sounds good to me. Um, go steal stuff. This one actually has no skills whatsoever so far. This one is actually pretty good. This one is really good. This must be our oldest spy. Yeah, you withdraw. You can't handle this. But either way, we were looking at the artifacts. And this is the one we just got. Gives us plus 10% diplomacy, plus 10 counter espionage, and minus 5% colony happiness. Hmm, interesting. 
but right now it's nowhere and one of my ships will likely take it back. The AI is pretty good at doing those things, so we shouldn't have to worry about that too much. We are getting attacked from all sides. What did we just research? We... that was not what I wanted to click. Improved countermeasures research. Okay, that is good. That is very good indeed. Now let's check out our ships. How is our retrofitting going on? Are you completely retrofitted? Actually wondering what happens consider I can actually retrofit these and I already pressed that button for all of them. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Let's speed up things a little bit. Um, it's probably worth checking out if there's any... Yeah, we actually do have several places that we can build a research colony, so we're definitely going to do that. Um, yeah, let's just queue all of these. Can I only build one at a time? Why is that? Oh, that was apparently just buggy. Uh, but all of these bonuses are worth getting. How are we on construction ships, actually? We have a few of them making the... repairing those ships. And then... We could probably build a few more, honestly. Um, or we are actually still building a few more. I was way ahead of that. Oh, actually what we should do is we should buy a few or uh, build a few more space stations because it's definitely worth having these on our planets. Um, is there a specific reason why we... Uh, okay, yeah, so we can actually build a resource uh, resort base here as well. Might as well. Let's get some tourism going. Um, Pantu, Pantu, can we, why can't we not build a spaceport? Oh, because there's probably already one. Yeah, the Ghost Fleet base. It is already building those, or rebuilding that, I should say, because it apparently was destroyed by pirates. That is not a good thing. Oh, that was actually interesting. We could see the uh, fleets there for a moment. Actually didn't get a chance to see how strong their fleet is. Because I'm wondering if we could actually just take these guys on. They don't seem to have a massive empire, unlike some of our other friends. So absorbing this to, into our own empire might be worth it. They have a pretty decently sized colony. And they're kind of in the back. So in terms of the strategic position, I think this is actually pretty nice. We now have the enhanced energy collectors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop attacking me already. We really do need to do something about these... Uh, uh, okay, so Panto One is actually not being not able to defend itself very well just yet, but I don't think we really have the um, population on this planet to really do something about that just yet. I mean, it's all well. It's actually recruiting troops already. It's just at a slow pace, which makes sense, honestly. So, what is our... Okay, so you're done. So you can go back to... What are, what are you doing? So you are just a random fleet. You can be in a... That's some frigates. Why, why are you a separate fleet? I actually don't know. You can be an attack fleet. Um, everyone else is still retrofitting, so that's fine. Um, what are we going to get from this research? We are going to get a Planetary Administration Center, which costs 500 per year, but it actually gives you a pretty high boost to happiness, corruption, defense, and development. So all in all, those are all pretty good things. Sounds pretty worth it, honestly. Um, these are the guys that we do want to... Yeah, let's make friends with them. We probably want to work towards befriending them. Which ones are they? It's, those are these guys. Uh, you are Xenox, yes, I know that. But which ones? Independent colonies. 
What planet is this? A a Proidaron? A Proidaron? A Proidaron? Epo. Let's just go for Epro. Epro. Yeah, that, that, that sounds right. Epro. We already have this. Um, we would have to have a slightly better relation. Is our ambassador doing anything with this? They like our gifts, but other than that, they don't really like us at all. Honestly, if there's any race that we work towards relationship with, it should probably be the Xenex. So actually, we do already have two levels of that with them. <laughs> 65 years to research. Yeah, no, let's not do that. That might not necessarily be the thing that we want to do at this point. Um, yeah, so we're kind of in the slow part of the game now where we are just kind of looking around, kind of expanding our base, waiting for our colonies to develop, things like that. It's not necessarily the worst part about the game. Like so I said, I think in the first episode, I really like the fact that this game is so relaxed. This is really not a stressful game where you really have to push or watch everything at the same time. You can actually always pause it whenever you feel like it. Um, I will not fall for the fact that you don't list that you want to be paid for the protection anymore. Oh, I've actually found money. I like finding crates with money. Um, energy torpedo weapons. I'm actually wondering if we should kind of um, direct our spies. Because so far they are kind of randomly stealing stuff. Fast mining seems pretty good. Tractor beams also seems pretty good. So <laughs> they just decided to prove me wrong. I'm not entirely sure if we need basic diplomacy for under more talents. But to be honest, um, yeah, I, I kind of like getting all the different types of resources as well. It just gives us options. It kind of diversifies stuff. Um, once again, why are you you continue to attack this planet even though you don't have any chance of winning? Yep, destroyed once again. And we salvaged some more stuff. Where are we actually salvaging all that stuff? Is that in our main system? So if I remember correctly, we had like this base sitting over here. It's only 800 power, so we can probably take that now. Um, assuming we have any fleets that are done retrofitting. So what are you doing? You are attacking targets within the 50% fuel range of her Horizon spaceport. A secluded citadel. We have discovered the secluded citadel, ancient ruins from a lost civilization in the, at the ice moon in the blah 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 blah. Our orbital inspection reveals that the ruins are located near the edge of an icy tundra wasteland. Should we investigate? Yeah, of course we should investigate. And we made a curious discovery. In their investigation of the secluded citadel, our survey team found a fast stasis hibernation chamber hidden beneath the ruins. The colossal chamber contains millions of sleeping Xenoxes. Really? Once again, I feel like we already had this one. But now I just might be confusing things. Anyway, uh, millions of Xenox. That's not good. And they woke up. The Xenex explained that they hid themselves in hibernation when an evil empire brutally enslaved the entire galaxy long ago. The Awoken Xenox remained terrified that these fearsome overlords, who they call the Dark Ones, may return once again. Plus 16% colony development and plus 26% scenery. That's actually pretty nice for a tourism resort based thingy. Um, yeah. Uh, to obtain the other bonuses, we should colonize this planet. And there's apparently millions of Xenoxes in the middle of our... It's, oh, it's actually only 178 million of them. It's not the biggest, largest colony that we've discovered so far, but it's pretty sizable. Pretty sizable indeed. Uh, fast mining. That's good. No, we still don't want your protection. And um, yeah, we keep being attacked. Not entirely sure why, but okay. Apparently everyone is retrofitting at the same place, same base. I'm not entirely sure that if that's the most efficient way to do that, guys. But yeah, we'll have to work with it, I suppose. 
It's interesting that the AI is really intent on splitting up our forces like this. I mean, we do have a lot of places that we need to defend. So in a way it makes sense. I'm just not entirely sure if we don't want like maybe one larger fleet that we can just use to attack stuff. Uh, for the moment, we want to go and actually um, upgrade these anyway. Um, so while this is well, these are all retrofitting, I don't think we should necessarily do anything about that. But if we're ever going to attack anywhere, I don't feel comfortable having like four smaller fleets that might just um, basically split up, not arrive at the same time, things like that. That tends to get fleets killed. Oh man. Honestly, the pirates in this region are really, really annoying. So we're, we're going to have to deal with that as soon as we get those fleets up and running as well. Um, I'm actually going to ignore these because they are popping up so fast. I can't actually keep up with clicking them away. These I don't want to ignore. So now we have the Planetary Administration Center. And I think it's worth building those. And let's start with building one of them in our main colony. Um, build facilities. It's actually the first facility that we can build. Uh, how? It's only 10,000. Oh wow, that's really worth it. To be honest, we should build that everywhere, I think. Um, I mean... Yeah, it's a happiness bonus. And to be honest, happiness bonus e equals uh, more taxes. The happier people are, the more you can tax them. So there's that. The colony corruption reduction is actually quite good as well. As you can see, for example, in this one, we are actually losing almost 13% due to corruption. So that's huge if we can reduce that. Well, it's only 100, so maybe this is not the best example. Um, but let me show you the other planet in a moment. So this one. We are losing 65k, so that's one third of our total revenue due to corruption. So reducing that by 10% to 6k. Um, as you can see, that will be a huge part of our income. So on these larger planets, the administration center will help us get money. On the smaller planets, we um, will be able to get more faster growth due to the, uh, the bonuses to happiness and things like that. Tractor beams are now researched. That is good. That is good. And let's just click these all away. How do I fast click these away. It seems to depend on where I click on the square. We are apparently now also learning to talk to Atuk. Not that we really need that at the moment, but um, yeah. So let's see, what is the next thing we want to go for? I mean, we can also research this. It's only going to take 150 days, but we don't really have a use for that at all at this point. I am actually thinking that maybe, just maybe, we should go for enhanced resource scanning. It doesn't feel too exciting, honestly. Oh wow, this mining machine upgrade is actually pretty significant. Let's go for that. Um, as you can see, the mining facility this one mines at, uh, the, the small one at 10 per second and the large one at 30 per second. And this one is basically, at least, at least the large one is 50% faster. That's quite a lot. Um, what else do we want? A medium freight, uh, freighter sounds interesting as well. Actually, let's let's see if we can prepare a little bit towards war. What do we need for that? We need better jump drives. That seems like a good thing to have. Um, engines we are pretty good at, I think. It's not going to be a major thing to impact what we're doing, I think at least. We definitely want to improve missiles. We're actually already researching that, so... I had this thought before. Um, that's actually interesting. So the iron weapons that we currently have, we can now also research 
an ion shield and ion point defense but this is actually not an upgraded version of the ion weapon itself so that's interesting so that actually means that once we research the missiles in the hyperdrive how are we on armor we have deflectors here that's fine i suppose we can have an upgraded version of this as well okay so let's just queue that up and work towards our fleet honestly the fleet is still okay this one is done so you can be a an attack fleet as well you can be a defense fleet uh, let's actually check the profile so this is an attack fleet this is an attack fleet as well might have changed that just because i changed the role honestly so there's that. We have a more another spaceport. We now know how to talk to our furry friends. We have improved missiles. Now what I actually am not entirely sure about. Do these things upgrade themselves? And what I mean by that, these things, is the ship designs. Um, let's check out these state ships. So for example, we have the um, destroyer, the Hercules. Hercules, sorry. Let's edit this. Uh, we only want to see the latest per category. There we go. So this is Concussion Missiles V2. It didn't actually upgrade it yet. I'm actually going to leave, it, leave the design as is for a moment. Just to see if it maybe upgrades the designs automatically. Um... Yeah, I'm going to leave this at auto design, at manual. I'm not entirely sure what happens if we set it to auto, but I think then it just starts replacing whatever it feels like. We definitely don't want it to do that. Um, but we do need to remember to upgrade our ships because, of course, now it's not doing it automatically for us. The Xenex Realm is... which one is this? Show me. That's the, oh, okay, you're that tiny little faction over there. Yeah, sure, we can trade, that's fine. I mean, I'm not entirely sure who you are, actually, because as far as we know, they're only in this tiny little corner, but considering they actually took this planet, I have a feeling that's not necessarily the case. Uh, we have completed repairs. Yes, investigate that further. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, we are under attack. We are not going to build more escorts. I don't think that's... Uh, yeah, we are going to offer a treaty. Three? Oh, that's actually to these guys. That's interesting. And they accept it. Nice! I'm not entirely sure why we could suddenly do that, actually. So, you guys are where? These are the guys that we want to be friendly with. We actually have, but we're still neutral for the moment. Uh, maybe we should pace ourselves a little bit there. Uh, they are trying to steal from their nation or authority and they got caught. That's not a good thing. Okay, so now we have more trade agreements. That's always a good thing. Now, where are all those fleets going? You can go defense. You are still retrofitting. You are done retrofitting. Actually, you can be an attack fleet. You have a power of 1300. So what I think you should do is take out this base. I'm actually interested to see what, what is they're actually going to jump around so that seems seems fine so the others are actually retrofitting once again 
I mean, seriously, guys, are you going to just retrofit for the rest of this game? <laughs> it seems like it. Um, really? Are you, are you once again under attack? They keep suiciding. It's like they, they're made, they're, they don't have any chance, but they withdraw all the time. But we really need a fleet there, actually, to defend this system. But I think we should have that soon enough. Um, actually, I think you guys should also go and attack this. You are a, an attack fleet. There we go. All these guys are out of fuel, though. Are you now going to fly here at snail pace? Doesn't look too bad, but jumping with fuel is probably going to be faster. Anyway, anyway. So these are the manual ones. So these now I have 2400 attacking this one. Where are you guys? You are actually both just over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick skip until this actually arrives at the uh, Gurky system. And then we're going to see if we can get rid of some pirates. Well, technically it's not a pirate base. It's just a derelict base, but it is getting in the way. And we have three ships there. So let's see if we can get some sell ourselves some free ships. Just a quick pop up. We aren't really in the, at the point where our ships have reached the system that we're going for. However, we actually got a tech breakthrough from repairing the cruiser. And this is actually another reason other than actually getting access to those ships. Um, that you can actually get significant boost. In this case, we got a boost to layered armor, which we already almost completed in terms of how much resource we had. But um, that's not the point. The point is that we can actually benefit from that greatly. Uh, in terms of the travel direction that these guys are taking, I don't think this is necessarily the fastest route. So let's divert our fleets. Uh, no, I don't necessarily want to declare war just yet. It's interesting that it suggests me to do so, though. Uh, we did research the hyperdrive. So now we have access to new hyperdrives. And yeah, you can do that. We are going to research those. Anything else special? Yeah, that's really good. So let's see, you are going to go here as well. You are actually going to refuel here. That's probably a good idea. You can refuel there. And we are also building some construction ships because half my ships are currently um, building ships <laughs> or repairing ships, I should say. So once they're actually done with that, we are going to have a massive amount of high-tech ships. Uh, where are you guys? Over here, I believe. So as you can see, we are currently getting this carrier up and running. How far along is that one actually? Oh, this is actually taking forever. Um, this one is, I think, almost done. Yeah, so it's already at 100%. So basically, once you hit 100%, you can keep researching that. And at some point, it will actually trigger and get you uh, full access to the ship. Um, it's a little bit annoying that you can't actually see how far along it is. But uh, yeah, we are still under attack from pirates from every single direction. So we are going to mop those up quite soon. Oh, actually, our first fleet is already here. That's interesting. There we go, that's a lot of ships. I like the fact that we now have two manual fleets. It's really nice. Both of the fleets are actually here now. It will take them a moment to actually uh, fuel up. What we should or could do is actually build some more fuel tankers. Because those things are actually really annoying that we keep running out of fuel with all our ships and the more we have the better we found another xanox empire we are now know how to talk to those very unfriendly guys 
So these are all mostly filled up. Some of these are actually damaged, that's interesting. Those are refueling. Yeah, it will take a moment to refuel, but that's okay. These guys are... Why did you stop refueling? It's not like you are now completely full of fuel. This might not be the most efficient place to actually refuel. The, we actually did add, add some docking stations to our deep space stations. Yep, you can go investigate that. And we have a, acquired an abandoned ship, a cruiser. It appears to, appears to be in good working order. We have boarded and taken control, disassembled the advanced technology at the ship at one of our spaceports with yield research bonuses. And we are probably just going to keep the ship. I like having ships. What we should actually find out now, South, look, this one ship is as powerful as the rest of our army together. Yep. Yep. That is quite a lot. And we are actually going to have that fly over here as well. Can we make a fleet out of that? Uh, which fleets are we manually controlling now? It's the fourth and the fifth fleet. This one actually has our admiral. So let's add it to the fifth. What was it? Fifth fleet. Yeah. So let's add it to the fifth fleet. And now we have a fleet with 5,000 power. Now that should allow us to mop up some pirates. Um, I, I do realize that our cruiser is not actually here just yet, but that's fine. These ones are still refueling. Um, these guys are basically just waiting for the cruiser to arrive. That's fine as well. Can we actually... Yeah, you can refuel and repair. It's actually a pretty interesting button. Refuel and repair. So many ships at our main base over here. Um, fast mining research completed. That is something we should probably work on as well in a moment. But for now, we are taking away all this spam. And then we are going to move in and attack this base. Um, where is it? Ref oh, they're actually refueling now. Okay, okay. We'll give you like 30 more seconds. As you can see, these guys are really slow, but they are actually refueling now. And then hopefully the last ship should also start refueling pretty quickly now. Yeah, there we go. You can see the difference in terms of the speed once it's actually fueled up. Yep, we are also want we also want that, and we have another cruiser. Um, yeah, let's let's pause the game there. Dismiss. Let's also add that to the fifth fleet. <laughs> this one is actually even stronger than the other one. Um, and join that to the actually let's join that to the fourth fleet. Now we have two large fleets to play around with. And to be honest, we should be careful about that because it's they are not large fleets. They just have one large single vessel in them. But still, um, that should take um, get the job done. Now, let's find our base and let's go attack. Exciting music. There is the fleet. They are probably jumping. Let's zoom back in. And once we kill this base, we don't have access to all these tiny little freighters and stuff like that. I don't think there's anything special about them, but it's really annoying to have this Desperado cave and that's sitting in the middle of our home system. And this way we can actually take it out and take advantage of the small amount of resources that are located around them. Uh, guys, hello. They are refueling again, really. Oh, there we go. There we go. They poured it in. And we have another destroyer. Let's have the destroyer join whichever. 
lady ones. These are a tiny little fighters that you can see. And our destroyers are making sure to work on that. Yeah, yeah, investigate. We are probably going to get pop-ups for all of these now. It is shooting back quite heavily though. But we have the second fleet incoming. As, as you can see, it actually took out the first fleet. Well, maybe not... Well, it took out with that one ship. Um, but that's the problem when these fleets don't arrive at the same time. If they were all here when they started shooting, it would have been no problem whatsoever. But, uh, yeah. however, the base is gone now. We should have... Um, <laughs> we're gonna have some more pop-ups, I think. You can refuel and repair. You can refuel and repair. You can top up with some ships. Same for you. Refill and repair. And now we have access to all of these ships. So I think that's a good point to stop this episode. First actual combat, actual intentional combat I should say. Other than the random pirates flying around and attacking us all over the place. But um, yeah, so far so, so good. It was a fairly simple and predictable combat. But I think that once we start upgrading our ships a little bit more, we should probably start taking out some of these pirate bases just so we have a little bit less of a nuisance going on i'm actually wondering where all the other pirates are because we are getting attacked in this system all the time but we we don't seem to have actually we do have a pirate base over here um not entirely sure if that's where they're coming from but we might as well take it out anyway uh, as you can also see we actually gain control of some of these systems that's because we are now more active in those systems than some of our other uh, friends around here especially our uh, Xenox friends and that's uh, at that point you can actually claim control over those systems and you can slowly start expanding your uh, control of basically this part of the universe we also seem to have lost contact with one of our ships in the Urellan system just prior to losing contact they send a message saying that they had discovered a very alien looking base um, you have to be more specific than that, I think. But anyway, they were about to investigate it. There's, then there was a garbled transmission with the words MUSTO BAY repeated over and over. We should investigate this strange occurrence, but caution seems wise when approaching this location. And apparently there's a spaceport there. Okay, um, but still, good place to end this episode. I hope you enjoyed our little conquest of the universe. It's a very... Um, low speed type of game but I like it I hope you do too if you do let me know in the comments it's nice to see people actually uh, not just randomly clicking on this video but actually enjoying it so if you're hearing this then I assume you're one of those and uh, let me actually know in the comments if you have actually played this game because I'm quite interested to see if well, you bought the game played the game or if you're just watching me play and what you think about it so let me know and yeah hope you enjoyed this one I will catch you in the next one